Hello my friends and welcome back to Homestead Hobbies and Collectibles. Today we have another six VHS back from IGS. I don't remember what's in here, um, but we're going to find out right now. Okay, we start with the fatter ones here. If this is your first time, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. So we always do like clamshells first or the bigger ones first. And then we go on to the normal tapes. This is a clamshell. Hey, we got Toy Story. That's right, I sent it Toy Story. This one was uh, pretty good. I've done good with Toy Story in the past, reselling it. And this one looked really good, so I decided not to resell it. I put it up, uh, sent it off to IGS. So let's see what we got. All right. So the back looks pretty good. I don't see anything really wrong with it. I do see a little bit of a hit right there. That's common with these. Looking pretty good there. We'll look at the bottom. We'll look at the top after. So I don't see any kind of crushing or anything so far. And we got, here's the front. We do have the $25 sticker, not the $15 sticker. And as far as a grade, we got an 859. Very nice, very nice. So yeah, we have no crushing. The only thing we really, I really see is this right here. Which is a little bit of a hit. But yeah, that's a good looking copy of Toy Story. That should do well. I know what this one is. Really excited about it. It's gotta be one of the coolest VHS sleeves I've ever seen. It's gonna be a dead giveaway right when I pull it out. Oh, you know what that is? Leave a comment or who that is. I really like these. I bought, what do I have up there? I have another four of them, so I bought five of these. I got a really good deal on them. But they got the clear plastic case. You can see this is the tape. If you look closely, that's the actual VHS tape. So it's clear plastic. There's the bottom. I imagine these are gonna grade kinda of high. Just because they're not paper, they're not gonna take damage so well, or as, as much. That's the, the thin cardboard sleeves like you see in the background there. But very, very cool. What did we get? Nine, eight, five, nice. Nice. Now I'm looking at the condition on it. I don't really see nothing wrong with it. It's hard to tell, everything's clear, you know. Still pretty cool. That is really cool. That's a good grade. I expected higher, but now we're on to the normal ones. Normal sized ones. Okay, so I think I know why they graded it low. From the looks of it, if you look at this one, it's really bad. There's actually stuff underneath the seal. So that's that's not good. So, but these have been in storage for a long time. These were case fresh. I took the on sale sticker off of this one. I'll take this one off when it goes in. If this one goes in, there's a lot of dirt under that seal. I'm gonna figure out a way to get that out of there. Well, but yeah, that's a closer look at the raw copy of the uh, Barney there. Pretty cool stuff. This is, oh, never ending story. There's a classic right here, guys. There's a classic right there. I forgot I set this in. If I remember correctly, this one had conditioning. Yeah, the, this is the one with condition issues. Actually, has a cut on the top of the box. 
So I don't expect it to grade too high, but it is a good one. Here's the back of it. Here's the side. Here's the other side. And the bottom here. Sounds like I'm very much money into this one. And I know it's not going to grade high. I just want to see how good it'll do. The other one I got, or the other two I got, are in better condition. Much better condition. Like I said, I just wanted to see how it would do. It does have the front. So this is 1991 front watermarks here. So what did we get for a grade? 7-7. Seven, seven. All right. So this is probably my lowest grade yet. I'm pretty sure this is my lowest grade yet. Front big WV, WHV. Yep, 1991. All right. So we're gonna see how good she does. Here's the the slit in the top there, which I I bought it and I didn't know it was there. But I uh, I knew it was there when I sent it in. So I knew I had condition issues. All right, on to the next one. So we're halfway through this. If you could, hit that thumbs up if you like this content. Leave a comment. Let me know what you do or don't like about it. The only way I can change my channel is if you guys tell me to. So. Okay, we have a Raiders of the Lost Ark. This is not a first print or anything. This is a pretty good looking copy. I don't know, remember how clean it was or what kind of condition issues it had. All right, so here's the back. This is the 1989 trilogy. So you got the bottom barcode, which is more desirable. 1989 is when Last Crusade came out. This is Raiders of the Lost Ark, but when Last Crusade came out, they came right out with the trilogy. There's the side of it. Here's the other side. We got the three close watermarks on the side. Here is the bottom. Don't mind the paint on my nails, guys. I've been doing hand planes. If you look at my store, you'll see a bunch of restored hand planes. Now, let's see what we got. Here's the front. We've got the Diet Coke sticker. That's what to look for is that trilogy with the Diet Coke sticker on the front. And all of yours will be the first, the earliest ones. Because it's dated, you know. The coupon for rebate. So here we go, what did we get? All right, Gem Mint, nice, very nice. Yep, this is a good one, this is desirable and high grade. Very nice, very nice. This one's heavy. I still don't remember what I sent in, so this is exciting. I kind of like not uh, writing it down. Okay, we got some Star Wars going on. This is the CBS Fox, the blue watermarked. The OG 1990 trilogy. Yep, sure is. So here we go, we got the blue CBS Fox watermarks. Those are the ones you want to look for with this trilogy. Uh, now there is earlier ones like my two tones, but those are very expensive. Another indicator that you're looking for is the CBS Fox logo there. These are the more desirable out of the modern trilogies. Here's the other side. Here is the bottom. And we're gonna take a look at the front. Looking clean. All right, what do we get for a grade? Nine, five, eight. Eight, why is there an eight? Oh, we have a tear on the side here.
There's got to be a corner poke or something somewhere. Huh. Oh, I do. I do see some some stretching in here, some lines. I see a tear, right? Oh, let's get over here. Where is it? Right there. That's a tear. Okay. Still nine five. That's the condition of the box. I mean, not a piece of plastic. And last, this is our last one, guys. Oh, first blood. Okay, cool. Cool. I can't remember. I can't remember what I said it. It hasn't been that long. I do pay for the $85 service. And uh, I've been pleased with it. I thought about starting a cycle with the 55 or 65. I don't remember what the other one is. But I, I'm just happy with it. I'm happy with how everything is going here. So here we go. We have first blood. This is the back. You know, we got the live watermarks. This is a Carol Co. Release. I've sold the Avid release. First Blood. And did really good. Sold really quick. So here's the bottom. It's looking pretty clean. Oh, sorry. We have the blue tab. I didn't ever notice that. Let's see what we got. Oh, here's the front. Looking good, looking good. What did we get? Double mint, nice. Very nice. This is also from a trilogy. So we have, this is from a trilogy, the Raiders of the Lost Ark's from a trilogy, as well as the Star Wars. These are all from sealed trilogy packs that I bought and opened up. So even though you get them from a trilogy pack, you can't guarantee they're gonna be uh, perfect, but you'll get good ones. You will get good ones. It's a 9.5 gem. That's not an easy grade to get. That is not an easy grade to get. I would say if I have to, I have to start looking at my seals a little bit better. I don't recall that little tear right there. It's okay. I don't recall it. Yep. Easily missed. Or maybe I noticed it, you know, it was still a month and a half ago. But I think I need to start looking at my seals a little bit better, looking at them closer. This one I knew was gonna grade low, but it's uh, the front of it looks good. It's got the front water marks, which is desirable. Seven seven's a little hit, but it's okay. Real happy with my Barney here. Barney's awesome. He's later in my time, but still, he's iconic. Toy Story looks good. All right, guys, I'd like to thank you for watching Homestead Hobbies and Collectibles. If you could, please hit that thumbs up and hit the subscribe button. And uh, let me know in the comments if I should do something like grade some of these. I don't know, a lot of you don't know, I have a, a huge collection of Atari. So, and some, uh, some other games. But anyways, you guys have a blessed day. Peace.